I see here you graduated high school last year. Do you plan to go back to school? I, I would like to. Um, but right now I have two part-time jobs. This job is full-time, and it would help me so that I can maybe take some night classes. Can you open this? Okay, well, after reviewing your resume, it does seem you are a bit underqualified for this position. However, we will be in contact if anything opens up. Oh, okay. Thank you for your time. Oh, so many interviews and no prospects. Hey, yo! Your little sister let me in. Oh, there's some serious mojo here. What's up? What? She's not supposed to open the door for anyone. Whoops, sorry. I feel stuck. I gotta work two part-time jobs that barely pay enough to help my mom with the utility bills. Dang, sorry, man. And when I try to get a higher paying job, I'm underqualified. Yo, I feel that. If it wasn't for my uncle lying that I worked in his auto repair shop this summer, I'd be stuck in kitchens with you. Thanks. Very helpful. Sorry, uh, that wasn't very, uh, nice. I'll try this again. I'm sorry you're feeling overwhelmed. I'm here to listen when you're ready to share more about how you're feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. What if I work for a solar company? I mean, with climate change and all, that's a job that will be around for a minute. If I start some technical certificate program now, I'll for sure have a job when I finish. That's not a bad idea. I should look into that since I am avoiding college like the plague. So, a training program sounds promising and it'll get my parents off my back. Plus, I don't know how much longer I can keep pretending I'm not deathly afraid of growing up and needing to be self-sufficient when there's an impending climatic crisis, political upheaval, not to mention police brutality every other week. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. Never mind. Check this out a community organization that trains on weatherization and solar installation. They're having an open house tomorrow. Let's go. Down. Welcome, y'all. In 2018, 8.7 million people died due to air pollution caused by burning of fossil fuels. The health impacts of our current energy system are harmful, to say the least. On top of that, a lot of us don't even know where our energy comes from. But one thing is clear. All energy from coal, oil, or gas causes air pollution. And what's more, it's unsustainable to us and the planet. Low-income households constantly have to compromise between paying an energy bill or buying food or medicine. Black households spend 43% more of their income on energy costs. Latinx households spend 20% more. And Native American households spend 45% more. Due to climate change and energy monopolies, we are disproportionately impacted by power shutoffs from utilities. So in the spirit of honoring traditional indigenous ways of interacting with the planet, we believe energy democracy is for all and not only for the few. With the threat of more power shutoffs, we want to make sure folks have the knowledge they need on renewable energy and how to organize around energy options and access. Our power is in managing our own energy power. Whoa, I was not expecting any of that. Man, I didn't even know energy justice was a thing. It's all connected. Energy, racial justice, wow. I don't think I just want to work in solar. I think I want to influence how it's made, governed, and managed, and make sure everyone has access to it. Yo, me too! Did we just become responsible adults with a passion to change the world? Maybe. Maybe. Frank, can you watch your sister while I run to the store? Yeah. And Mom, can we talk about energy justice sometime? <laughs> 